Welcome to Where Has the Time Gone? Hi, I'm Sandy, also known as VS Demonstrators on Switco Stampers. I've been asked how I created these buttons right here at the top of my page. So when I scroll down, they stay at the top. So that when I click on them, they change color and they take me to posts relating to that topic. Well, it's really easy. I found it on a website, but I thought a visual tutorial would be a lot better to show you versus reading. I like visual anyways. Um, I can't remember what website I grabbed this from, but it'll take you less than two minutes in order to do this. The longest part will be to find the colors that you like. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my test blog. I always have a test blog. I don't want to mess up my good blog because if I make a horrible mistake and really ruin this test blog, I don't care because nobody will see it and it's free. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to customize my blog. So I go up to the top and I click on customize. So now I'm going to click on add, uh, make sure I'm under layout and then I'm going to click add a gadget. I'm going to be adding HTML coding. So I'm going to go to HTML JavaScript and click the plus sign. I'm not going to put a title because I don't want anything else to show up. And then on the right hand side of the YouTube video, past the video, but where it says more under the description, I've pasted both sets of code that you need. So you have to click on there, copy it, then bring it into here. So the first piece of code I'm going to grab is this one liner. And I'm not sure what I will call it, but I will indicate when I get to the description part that this goes into the add a gadget. So I'm copying that. And I come back in here and I paste it into my content. Now I have to change two things. First thing I'm going to change is this website address. So it's HTTP colon slash slash, make sure that's typed properly. And I'm going to take out the website address, but I'm going to leave that quotation mark. It's important that those quotation marks are there. And I'm going to type in the name, the website address of the blog. So that's what um, it will take you to when you click on the button. And then where it says title for button, this is where you need to go in order to, um, it's the words inside the button. So BS demonstrators, where does the time go? And then if I want another button, I will just paste again and I'll make a change. And if I want another button, I'll paste again and I'll make the changes. And then I hit save. Now, if I go to my blog, save my changes and I'll view it. I'll see my links. Now this one, these aren't working links, but it, you get the idea. So now what I want to, is to add the background for those buttons. So I go back into customize. This time under layout, I want to go to a edit HTML. So I need to click in down into this area here. And I'm going to do a search on the word skin. So I can press control F and I'll type the word skin when, and I'm down here now. When I press enter, it'll bring me to the first skin, but that's the opening the skin and I don't want that. I want to go to the closing the skin. So I press enter one more time. So what I'm looking for is backslash B colon skin. Right above that, I'm going to give myself some extra space by pressing enter, but there's the skin still down there. I'm going to co copy the other piece of code that is on the right hand side under more and it's the long one. So I just copy that one and I come over here and I paste it. Now when I save this and I preview it, I will see, now this one's all mucky because I made this button way too long and that's okay um, for now because it's just my test bug. Um, it's purple and I don't want purple. So what I need to do is go back to my code under the edit HTML and this background code right here, I need to change that. So you'll want to go to a web color chart, find the color that you want and there will be six characters like FF9933 or whatever and you're just going to change this background here to be the color that you want. And if you want the hovering color to change, that's what you change. If you want the text color to change, that's what you change. And that's it. Two minutes and you'll be done.